Boodle Bobs. Bedtime stories. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> This is a story all about Cameron. And yes, he's a cabinet. Cameron had seen better days. Better days than the days he now spent in the box room. It was like a box, and full of boxes too. Um, <coughs> see this scratch, he said. And Malcolm looked up from his lunch, which was a large blue cardigan. Ah, uh, got it in um, Burma, or, or was it Bermuda? Oh, Bermuda? said Malcolm brightly. You mean like the shorts? Malcolm was only ever interested in clothing. Cameron liked to boast that he'd been everywhere and had fought lions, tigers and elephants. But Malcolm believed none of it. Oh, I've, I've been around, you know, he continued. Oh, I've seen the world. Oh, uh, I haven't, piped up a tiny voice. I've never been anywhere except this room. Nor have we, chorused his friends. But we're just house mites and that's where we stay, around the house. And it occurred to Malcolm that he'd never been anywhere either. The only thing he'd ever been around was a light bulb. We need a holiday, he exclaimed. And Cameron, you could take us. You could take us to the seaside. Oh, to the seaside, to seaside, the, seaside, the seaside, seaside, sang all the house mites. Hello, sea, with you and me, we're about 45 to you, 83. No, 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 ha hang on a moment, protested Cameron. Fighting in the jungle is one thing, but the seaside, no, no, I, 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 I don't think so. What, why not? said Malcolm. Oh, because, um, uh, uh, be because, I don't, because I don't know the way, he answered flatly. Malcolm felt so disappointed, as too did the house mites. It's just not that simple, protested Cameron. Oh, go back to fighting in the jungle, muttered Malcolm angrily. You see, Cameron's stories were one thing, but they weren't actually altogether true. But, but he couldn't tell them that. Then he thought about it and felt bad about letting everyone down. Well, he smiled, I, I suppose we could, we could ask someone the way to the seaside. Yeah! Cheered all the house mites. So the very next morning, everyone awoke very early. All aboard, said Cameron, counting the house mites into his drawer. And as they trundled out of the door, Malcolm fluttered down and settled on his shoulder. But which way to the seaside? Before they could decide or even take a guess, Mole, who fortunately knew everything, surfaced from deep underground. It's, um, it's that way, he said, twitching his nose. Everyone knows you just follow your nose. So they did, and in no time at all, they were the seaside. Squeal the housemates in delight as they buried into the sand making sandcastles. Malcolm gazed out to sea. Oh, look at the boats, he pointed, and this gave Cameron another idea. Well, this morning I was a cabinet, and now I'll be a boat. All aboard, he laughed, and for the second time that day, he flung himself into the waves. Now all we need is a sail. He rummaged around and pulled out an old, not yet moth-eaten jumper. They found some coat hangers and soon they'd made a rather good sail. Malcolm wasn't happy, he rather fancied the jumper for lunch, but soon changed his mind when the wind took them. They went so fast, it was brilliant. So there they were. One old cabinet that was now a boat, one old cardigan that was now a sail, 81 house mites having the time of their life, and a moth happy to have the wind in his wings. Can you see what I can see? said a seagull watching from the beach. Nah, replied the seagull's friend. What I think I can see is too silly for words, so I think it's best to say nothing.